Tesla's million mile battery is coming soon, and I believe that this is a missing piece that will make Tesla's mission a reality. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. According to a Road & Show article that was published just a few days ago, Tesla and CATL, or Contemporary Amperex Technology, which is a battery manufacturer in China, they are ready to produce the million mile battery that Tesla has talked about. According to the article, the battery should last 16 years or 1.24 million miles. Here are the reasons why I believe this million mile battery is key to Tesla's mission becoming a reality. Part of Tesla's master plan part two was to address every market segment with EVs. And in order to do that effectively, Tesla needs really long range batteries, especially when we're talking about vehicles like the semi and a robo taxi. It has been reported that Tesla has started production for the Tesla semi. And I believe this is possible because of this new million mile battery. According to an article that was published January of this year from Commerce Express, the typical semi truck will last somewhere between 750,000 miles and some even go up to a million miles and they generally last between 15 and 16 years. The Tesla semi will actually be using Model 3 motors and according to a tweet from Elon, these motors are already designed to last a million miles. But the issue with current battery tech is that they're actually only designed to last somewhere between 300 and 500,000 miles. While it is a very long life compared to other vehicles, when we're talking about commercial trucking, we need to be able to get that battery to last 750,000 to a million miles to make it really cost effective. When Tesla released the semi to the world, they did a comparison between the actual cost of driving the semi versus a traditional diesel semi. And as you can see here, based on their data, the typical diesel truck costs about $1.51 per mile for operation, whereas the Tesla Semi should cost somewhere around $1.26 per mile, all in total operating cost. So the total cost of driving a Tesla Semi for 700,000 miles should be somewhere around $882,000 as compared to a diesel Semi costing well over a million dollars. However, if you had to replace the battery in the Tesla Semi, that would completely destroy all the savings that you had before then. According to Elon right now, if you were to replace the Model 3 battery, it will cost between $5,000 and $7,000. I'm assuming the $5,000 is for the smaller pack and the $7,000 is for the larger pack. So if we do the math, we know the Model 3 has approximately a 74 kilowatt hour battery. So at a cost of $7,000 to replace the modules in that pack, that means that the cost per kilowatt hour is somewhere around $95 for a battery replacement. Based on some of the math I've done in previous videos, I estimate that the Tesla Semi will have around a 1,375 kilowatt hour battery in order to achieve 500 miles fully loaded. If you use that same $95 per kilowatt hour to replace the battery, that would end up costing you somewhere around $131,000 for this replacement. So I think this makes it very clear that for the semi to actually be a viable product, it must include something like the million mile battery that will last a very long time. Another part of Tesla's master plan part two was to enable your car to make money when you aren't using it. This of course goes right along with Tesla's plan to have autonomous driving cars and they plan to have a robo taxi network. Now the current battery tech found in your Model 3 and your Model Y lasting between 300,000 and 500,000 miles, of course that is plenty of life for most cases. But when we start talking about taxis and taxi services and when we start talking about robo taxis which can work a lot more and longer hours than a traditional taxi, we need to start thinking about how many miles that robo taxi might be driving and how long will it last under the circumstances of a 300,000 or a 500,000 mile battery. According to Alan Fromberg, which is the Commissioner for Public Affairs in New York City, a typical New York City taxi cab will cover at least 70,000 miles per year. And according to the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission, commercial taxi and limousine drivers are not allowed to drive more than 10 hours each day in a 24-hour period. So if we do some basic math and we know that the typical New York City taxi driver can drive 70,000 miles per year and if they drive five days per week, meaning 260 working days per year, that means they can drive 269 miles per day. 
If they drive 269 miles and they work 10 hour days, that's an average of 26.9 miles they drive per hour. Now if we use some of these numbers to estimate how much a Tesla robo-taxi might drive in New York City, a robo-taxi won't have the same laws that will limit it to 10 hours a day. The only limitations will be when it's actually in use or when it's being charged or if it needs maintenance for any reason. So for my estimates, I think that a robo-taxi could work somewhere around 20 hours a day and somewhere around 360 days a year. So if you multiply that 20 hours a day times 360 working days, that would be 7,200 hours of driving per year. If the Tesla robo-taxi drove 7,200 hours per year and averaged 26.9 miles per hour, that would mean somewhere around 193,000 miles per year. If a robo-taxi drives between 150 and 200,000 miles per year, the typical battery would need to be replaced in just a few years. And so I think for a robo-taxi to really make a lot of sense, especially with Tesla running a robo-taxi network, it needs a million mile battery. Now when we talk about addressing every market segment, there is something that I believe Tesla has not announced yet that they will at some point in the near future that will help Tesla achieve every market segment. They have the sedan market covered, the SUV market covered, in the future the truck market will be covered, the supercar market will be covered, their long haul commercial market will be covered with a semi, the ride hailing or ride sharing taxi market will be covered by their robo taxi network. But what about a more affordable car that falls somewhere in the $25,000 range like a Camry or an Accord? That I believe is a missing piece for Tesla to truly address every market segment. For this to happen, battery technology needs to get cheaper. Here's where Tesla's new battery tech might fit in for this vision. According to a Reuters article that was just published last month, quote, CATL also has developed a simpler and less expensive way of packing battery cells called cell to pack. That eliminates the middle step of bundling cells into modules. Tesla is expected to use the technology to help reduce battery weight and cost. So these new batteries from Tesla and CATL will not only last longer and drive up to a million miles, but they potentially could cost less than current battery tech. This new lower cost battery could make way for Tesla to bring out a cheaper vehicle like a Model 2 or something like that. Another part of Tesla's master plan part two was to create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage. Now, of course, Tesla already has battery storage covered with the power wall and the power packs for their commercial applications. And while these energy storage solutions are good, I believe they could be improved with longer lasting batteries. This would make the business case for people to adopt this technology even greater and it would make even more financial sense for anyone who was interested. Currently, Tesla's Powerwall comes with a 10-year warranty that guarantees that it will maintain at least 70% of the 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity. But you'll notice this is for solar self-consumption or backup. If you use it in some kind of other application, they limit it to 37.8 megawatts of aggregate throughput. So if you do the math here, 37.8 megawatt hours equals 37,800 kilowatt hours. And if you divide that by the 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity of Tesla's Powerwall, that means they're guaranteeing it for around 2,800 cycles. Now imagine for a minute if they used the same battery technology, million mile battery technology, and put that into the power walls and power packs, and then the payback period becomes even more obvious on that product. Now the last big thing that I wanna talk about and something that I believe is really important and something that does drive Tesla is the fact that a million mile battery will actually help them lower their carbon footprint. According to Tesla's 2019 impact report, as you can see from this chart, when you look at how many grams of CO2 are actually emitted per mile by manufacturing a Tesla vehicle for the Model 3, the battery is somewhere slightly less than half of the grams of CO2. But think about how this equation changes if this vehicle, instead of lasting 300,000 miles, lasts a million miles, and this battery as well lasts one million miles. This of course makes the grams of CO2 per mile considerably lower. Even with current battery tech, according to a report from Transport and Environment, a typical EV is already three times cleaner than the traditional gas burning or diesel burning car. 
So I'm excited about Tesla's upcoming battery day whenever they announce that date. I know that Tesla is going to release some details on this million mile battery. And I do believe, as I mentioned, this is the key that is really going to unlock Tesla's future mission to be a reality. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click that bell icon, you'll be notified when I publish new videos. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button. That'll help other people find the video. I also wanted to take a moment to thank these Patreon supporters, which helped me make this content. Every month they support me and they are a part of my Patreon community. If you'd like to learn more about this Patreon community and how you can support my work, you can check out the link in the description below. Thank you so much.